Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki. In this video, we're gonna learn how to download and install Apache on Windows 7. So, first thing, we're gonna open up the browser and go to Apache Lounge dot com I'm gonna go to the download section scroll scroll down a little bit Apache 2.4 binaries VC 14 they have two of them here one is for Windows 64 bit and the other one is for Windows 32 bit if you don't know which operating system type you have let me show you how to find out go to Windows start menu click on that computer right click properties this window will show up about your system information scroll down here until you see system type and mine is a 64-bit operating system but you might have a 32-bit so since I have a 64-bit I'm gonna close this window here and go back to the browser I'm going to get the 64-bit version now, before we download this file, VC14 means it was compiled in the, the latest Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. And that's the file, that's the Apache version you want to install if you want to also install uh, PHP 7, which is also compiled in VC14. Now, if you want to earlier release of uh, for example PHP 5 you would get an earlier version of uh, VC 11 and you would click here and download <coughs> VC 11 instead but I'm gonna be installing the latest version of PHP 7.0 which is the best so I'm going to grab this file here now before I do let's actually grab the visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015 by clicking on this link here it's gonna send us to this page we're going to download it oh and they also have them in 64-bit version or a 32-bit the x86 stands for 32-bit version of Windows 7 now I have a 64-bit I'm gonna select that one click next and I'm gonna save the file I'm gonna click on it run and I already have it installed so I'm not gonna install it but you guys go ahead and install the redistributable on your computer I'm gonna close this window here and let me go back to this file and click on it and save now it actually takes some time to download it, uh, two minutes, whatever. So I'm just going to cancel it because I already have it downloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my downloads folder. Scroll all the way down. And this is the file that you guys should have downloaded if you chose the 64-bit VC14. And as you can see, I have other files that I've experimented with here. But this is the one... Uh, that I'm going to use and I'm using win rar to extract and zip uh, to extract zip files on my computer and I highly recommend win rar it's a very fast and easy to use application for extracting zips and also uh, creating new archives so if you guys don't have it go to I recommend that you go to rarsoft.com and go to the download section and just download the latest version of WinRAR depending on which operating system type you have. It's not a requirement because Windows comes with default uh, zip extractor, but I like WinRAR much better. So again, I'm going to select this file and I'm going to choose extract files. And I highly recommend you guys extract the folder the Apache folder to your C drive. I mean, you can extract it anywhere else, but it's just easier to access. So I'm gonna click OK, and it's gonna go ahead and extract all the Apache files. Just gonna wait a little bit. All right, 
Now I'm gonna go to my C drive and bam, Apache 24. This is the Apache folder with all the Apache files in it. Now let me show you something, some configuration settings here. <clears throat> the Apache configuration file is located in this conf folder. So I'm gonna open the folder and I'm gonna locate this httpd.conf file. This is the Apache settings file where you set all the settings uh, for Apache. And we're going to right click on it, open with, and we're gonna go ahead and open it with Notepad. And uh, this text will show up with a bunch of Apache settings in it. Now, the only things that we need to check is make sure that server root is set to C Apache 24 or wherever you installed uh, extracted your Apache files and it should be set by default to this directory and uh, make sure that the listen port is 80 and lastly we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find document root and directory okay so these two directories here are uh, the default directories for Apache's web files and the web files are files like PHP, JavaScript, HTML, basically any kind of uh, web files that you'll be running from your computer once Apache is working. This is a default folder located in Apache 24 HD docs, but I like to keep my web files under C localhost. And if you guys want to do the same thing, just create the localhost folder on your C drive but you can also leave these default. So I'm going to go ahead and save. That's all the settings that we need to do here for now. And if you didn't change anything, if you left everything default, you can just close out without saving. And I also recommend that you guys create a shortcut to this uh, configuration file and place it somewhere where you'll be able to easily access it because we're going to be uh, you're going to be modifying some settings of Apache in the future, inevitably. And uh, you can just paste it on your desktop, but I personally have it here in my, in my expanded menu under settings, and I conveniently have all these settings files underneath this menu, including the Apache configuration settings. And you guys can learn how to create this kind of cool menu uh, in my other video called Organizing Files and Folders on Windows 7. But anyway, let's go back to Apache folder on the C drive and open up the bin folder. And within the bin folder, you'll see Apache Monitor.exe. And uh, let's go ahead and right click and open the Apache monitor. Once you open the Apache monitor, you'll have this icon show up at the bottom right corner of your screen. And we can go ahead and right click on it and open Apache monitor. Now the Apache monitor is just a very convenient way to see if the Apache is offline or if it's online. Right now, this red icon indicates the Apache is offline and it also tells us which Apache version we're running. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. And that's going to start the Apache and now it's running. Now, before we do the last final step, I highly recommend that you guys also create a shortcut for Apache monitor because once you modify some of the setting files, hold on, let me get it here, okay. Here, uh, just create a shortcut of the Apache monitor by creating shortcut. And once you modify some of the settings in the, in the Apache settings file, we're gonna have to always restart Apache. So this will be a very convenient way to access the Apache monitor. So we're gonna cut, we're going to go ahead and cut this shortcut and we're gonna place it in our startup folder i'm gonna scroll all the way down here find and locate the startup folder right click on it open 
and this will open up the startup folder and we're just gonna paste the patch monitor here in this folder now the reason I did this is that because every time Windows starts from now on the Apache monitor will open and it's gonna show up at the bottom right corner of our screen like I showed you guys before right here and we can easily just right click on this or we can even left click on it and this will open up a very quick menu for stopping starting and restarting Apache which is very convenient alright so the last step is to check if Apache is actually working so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the browser and uh, go ahead and type localhost in your browser and you should see this pop up it works and that means Apache is working now the Apache uh, is actually accessing this uh, file which is an in index.html from that document root folder that you specified earlier mine was C localhost uh, because I modified it uh, as you remember so it's pointing here to this root directory and it's pulling up this index.html file which contains the following HTML and the text it works so yours might be in a different directory depending on where you set your uh, document root directory to but that's it Apache is all working and you got your configuration settings set up and now uh, <clears throat> in the next video I will show you guys how to install the latest version of PHP 7.0 which just came out recently and uh, we're going to make it work with this latest version of Apache so I'll see you guys in the, in the next video